Hi guys, welcome back to another video where I do whatever the frick I want. How are you? Let me know down in the comments because I want to know. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. So today's video is picking up where my last video left off, so if you didn't watch that one, you might want to watch it. It's not imperative to this video, but I don't know, it kind of leads up to it. But for those of you guys that have been wondering, yes, I did make it to the cave restaurant. I know, thank you. I was very happy that I actually got to make it after last week's video. So that's what this video is. I don't want this intro to be really long. I have a lot to show you guys. So without further ado, I guess let's just head to the cave restaurant. Ah uh, yes guys, I've made it to the Avern Inn. I'm not exactly sure where the actual restaurant is because this has a bunch of things. Oh, okay, well it says on the sign restaurant, so I'm guessing that's where it is. It's a police officer. Oh, that's fake. Never mind, I take it back. Let's see, that was a good spot. He's catching people. Hey everyone, guess who it is? Yes, it's voiceover Ethan. Okay, everyone settle down. I'm trying to do a voiceover, okay? <laughs> so I didn't talk that much while I was filming because I was uncomfortable because obviously I'm at a restaurant. I didn't want everyone staring at me. So that's why I'm doing the voiceover. Now we're dropping 21 stories below the ground. This cave is completely natural. The only thing unnatural about it is the shaft that I'm going down in the elevator. Believe it or not, the cave is 350 million years old. If you're like me and don't understand that number, that is older than a T-Rex. T-Rexes were around 68 million years ago. That's nearly five times older. I'm gonna be quiet really quick while you enjoy the scenery. As you can see, I thought this was really cool, they hoist up your food in this big bucket from 30 feet down below. My sandwich had a little bit of trouble in the bucket as you can see, but it was very good. And yes, I am eating my burger with a fork and knife because I'm classy. Just kidding, it's because of COVID and I did not want to touch my food. What's up guys? So I just got done at the restaurant. It was really, really cool. The food was really good. I was surprised that they had veggie burgers in the menu. I'm going on a cavern tour in about 10 minutes. I'm just chilling in the car for a second and then I'm gonna go back in and take you guys through the caverns. I'm really excited. Apparently there's this giant sloth that's down there, like a prehistoric one and it's like 15 feet tall. And there's a bunch of other really cool things. So the next time you guys see me, we're gonna be going through the caves. Touch these walls wide because these walls been here for so many years. So as you can see, the ceilings above me are actually made from prehistoric little creatures that lived on the ocean floor. What I'm showing you guys right now is a hotel room that is in the cave that you can stay in. It's $1,000 a night, so I was not able to afford that. But if you have that money, you can stay in it and spend the night in the cave by yourself. But there have been some famous people who have stayed in that hotel room, including Ozzy Osbourne and Steve Irwin. So these containers that you're seeing is a bunch of supplies just in case of a natural disaster or nuclear war. It was all put down there in 1962 and it's enough supplies for 2,000 people for I don't know how long, they didn't really say that. And they have a chapel in there just in case you wanna get married while there's nuclear war, I don't judge. So I've got to warn you before this next clip, if you're squeamish, skip to this time on the screen. I've warned you. So this is a mummified bobcat that fell into the cave and unfortunately couldn't escape. I forgot to mention this, these caves are dry caves, so there's no water dripping everywhere, there's no rivers or anything going through it. So that's why they're able to have a restaurant in here, because there's no creepy crawlies anywhere, there's no bats, anything like that. So if you were to get trapped in this cave, it would be unfortunate for you. Now you see this giant beast. That is not a bear. It's a prehistoric giant sloth. This is a replica. They actually took the remains that they found in order to study them. This species of sloth lived all the way back to 5 million years ago, up to just 11,000 years ago. They reached up to 20 feet tall. Guys, that is freaking ginormous. This thing that you're seeing is just a baby. That's a big baby. Unfortunately, the sloth fell into the cave and just like the bobcat, it wasn't able to escape. And you can still see its scratch marks on the wall from when it tried to escape, that is so sad.
What's up guys? So I just got back from my cave tour. It was really, really cool. I probably just ended up voiceovering the whole thing because it was awkward talking while it's like completely silent. But I thought it was pretty awesome. You guys saw everything with me, so I don't really need to describe anything. But this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. That's completely fine, I understand, honestly. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. I've been getting a couple comments from you guys saying that YouTube has unsubscribed you from my channel. So thank you, YouTube. I really appreciate it. And then turn on the post notifications, that little bell, and it'll notify you anytime I upload so you'll never miss a video. Also, I feel like I don't promote this enough. I do have a Patreon where you guys can support the channel so I can keep making content and show you guys all of the beautiful places that the United States has to offer. I post videos on there early, like this one will be early. I post behind the scenes content. I post extra videos on there. Depending on the tier that you join on, I send a postcard out every month. So if that's something that you're interested in, that link will be down in the description. And last but not least, speaking of Patreon, I would like to say a big thank you to all of you guys who are supporting the channel on Patreon. Because of you guys, I'm able to continue making content and show you guys all of the beautiful places that the United States has to offer and plenty of more places in the future. And an extra special thank you goes to John Emerson, Scott Ashley Smith, Michael Posh, Scott Sweaters, It's Me, Paul Carpenter, Bobby LaGlisi, Britt Saunders, Johan Gittens, Jordan Vajda, and Duncan Stewart coming. Once again, thank you guys so, so very much. I really appreciate it. But I think that's all I have to say. Peace out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Possible. Even though, even though they said they didn't... So I made one. But I made one. So if that's something you're interested in, then that link will be down in the... I, why can't I say that? But I think that's all I have to say. My lip keeps sticking to my teeth. So that I can keep making content and show you guys all the beautiful places that the United... Oh goodness. Is it recording? I'm so confused. Oh, okay. Hi guys, how's it going? As you can see, they... They ha Yoast... Housed... What's the word? They housed it up? Host it? Yoast it up? Hoist it, thank you. I was very confused. I don't know, it kind of leads up to it. Um... For the, but yes, for those of you who've, but for those of you guys that have, but for those of you guys that have been wondering.